Hi there, I'm Anushka, mum to an uh, almost one-year-old and I'm just going through the recommendations for very first books for babies. Uh, this one I'm going through is Row, Row, Row Your Boat by Jane Cabrera. We have really enjoyed this book. Um, while her previous book that I just talked about talks about the diversity of all the animals living in the tree and the ecosystem, this one kind of draws on the same concept but with a river um, with the popular rhyme, row, row, row your boat. So we have here all the animals that are going around, that live around the river, in the river, as this little cat and dog row their boat through the river. Beautiful book with really nice illustrations. So we start off with this page, which I know is just the cover page, but my son really likes it when I follow the river and I say, Here's the river going winding, winding, winding. And there's some big green trees. There's a yellow meadow. There's a swamp and there's here. And I name all the animals with elephant, lion, tiger. We name all the animals. And then we actually start the book. We have the swimming mice over here as well. So, um, it has the cat and dog running along to get in their boat and go in the river and We kind of name them first and then we go through as they start their journey um, You know, there's toucan and they go through this beautiful glade into the river and we can name the um, the so called um, Lotus and the lotus palms here and the little swimming mice and then as we go through each animal, do the noises, we go squeak, squeak, squeak for the mice and ooh, 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 ah, 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 for the monkey swinging through the trees. Um, if we're doing this book in the car, like while he's in his car seat, I'll sometimes read to him while we're driving. Um, we have his monkey in the car and I'll get his monkey and go swing through the trees. He has another book that calls, that's called If Animals Kiss Goodnight that also has a monkey that goes, Mama monkey and infant would swing through the trees, smacking their lips in a kissing trapeze. And so it has how all the different animals kiss goodnight. So he's used to the concept of the mama monkey and infant going swing through the trees. So whenever we get to a book that has a monkey now, I will do the same thing. And I think that reinforces to him that this monkey is the same as that monkey and your soft toy monkey and they're all monkey. Uh, so I think that's a good way to kind of link concepts across books, if you get what I mean. Um, we also have the birdies here and then elephant and I'll go for elephant. Um, and there's a red bird over there, which I have wondered if that's a cardinal. I'm not sure. Um, there's a crocodile with scales. So I kind of go zigzag, zigzag for his scales and his big teeth and I'll go snap, snap for the crocodile. Um, and then we have lions, we'll go roar. That was a terrible roar. Roar for the lion coming down here. And then tiger leaping. So we'll kind of go leaping like a tiger. Do another roar for the tiger and the doves. So I usually go like birdie and go doves like this and to kind of show him the birds flapping their wings um, and don't forget to coo coo and then we get to mama dog waving to baby dog look at that beautiful sunset like as we're going through this book the sun is setting and we see uh, that it's slowly becoming night kind of going through like you know from blue light to red light triggering the melatonin change yeah as like our bodies adjust to it going from like you know daylight to nighttime and having more like we put our blue light filters on our phone we dim the lights we try and set the mood for the baby uh you know and ourselves that we're now winding down and it's time for night and the book is doing the same thing showing the sun setting which is really really nice i love this jasmine here as well um, I think that's Jasmine at least. Um, and then we have this beautiful sunset as we kind of wind down and like reduce our 
cortisol, increase our melatonin, wind down, get ready for going to bed. There's a yawn here, so I like to go <sighs> yawning because he has a few books that have yawning and sometimes he'll do a fake yawn with me and he'll go <gasps> <sighs> it's very cute he also does fake sneezes yeah but that's more because i sneeze and then he'll go <sighs> to copy mama yeah um and then we have the moon so if you have other books with like twinkle twinkle little star your child is probably used to the stars and the moon so you can go twinkle twinkle little star as you look at these stars and then say moon and here's mama dog tucking baby dog and rat and uh cat in into their boat and saying good night good night baby dog good night baby cat and then i hold my son and say time for bed good night my darling and uh sometimes it works mostly it doesn't um and then they actually have the music here for row, row, row your boat. So if you're musically inclined and can read music, you could even um, get your keyboard, guitar, whatever out and play this along with them. I used to be able to read music when I was younger, but I've actually, I mean, some notes I still can, but mostly I, I can't now and I just uh, do the chords with the guitar. But, um, I have played like you are my sunshine to him but yeah maybe this is something that I should I should now be doing is at the end of this book get my guitar out play row 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 about to him if it's during the day uh, if it's at night it would wind him up too much and actually play the song to him so here we are row 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 your boat beautiful book um, love like the way that she's just painted all these illustrations and it's like a really fun mix of color but at the same time big strong images on each page um highly recommend um we will now move on to our next author children's author which is denise fleming so in my next two videos i will be talking about sleepy oh so sleepy and barnyard banter